Hello everyone, how is it going? This is the Video Gamer 64, Mr. Arcade Retro Gamer 64 here. And today I am going to be showing my entire music cassette collection. Yes, that's right. Right at a hundred mus entire music, I mean not a hundred music, and one hundred entire, my entire one hundred music cassette collection. So this should be fun and it should be interesting. And I hope all of you guys enjoy this video of mine and I hope all of you guys have been enjoying my music and antiques 64 channel. And if you haven't seen that channel yet, feel free to subscribe to me or follow me there, depending on what site you're on. So yes, let's get started. First one I got is Guns N' Roses, Use Your Illusion, number one. Now this is a great album, no doubt about that. This is what my cousin James gave me a long time ago. Even though it says Kirk, I don't know if uh, Kirk used it. Or, well, whoever Kirk is, he had good taste in music. But my cousin James had passed away 10 years ago. The next month would be 10 years ago. But uh, anyway, my uh, my aunt gave me this. That was his, her son's uh, cassette tape. So yeah, I got part of film, you know. And I think that's awesome. Next, a friend of mine named Cassie gave me this. It says, and I got this, Not was it last year or year before? I don't remember. But anyways, guys, it's Timmy Wynette, Queen of Country. Right there. I need to find a case. I need to find a blank case for them because I don't have a case for these. Three that I'm about to show y'all. I mean the three that I'm already showing y'all. Two I already showed y'all, but one I'm about to show y'all. One of, Another one is Evil 65 Blue Dobby D. I remember this song coming out years ago, I think, in the 90s. It's a pretty good song, no doubt about that. Next we have Swing the Moo Jav Bunny and the Master Mixers. And the cassette is like this. If any of you are wondering what a cassette tape looks like. It comes in different colors. Uh, about the same size. So yeah, so if any of you never seen a cassette tape, there you go. But I imagine many of y'all have seen them. Next we have Sammy Kershaw, Haunted Heart. Now this is a great album of uh, Sammy Kershaw, no doubt about that. Next we have 1960, The Rock and Roll Era. This is a good album. Shows all the bands from, I mean, all the different bands and singers from this, that were singing their songs in 1960 and stuff. Talk, I mean, singing their songs in the 1960, basically. Next, we have a great country album, Alabama, The Closer You Get. Next, we have Inspirations Stereo Cassette. Next we have Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble Couldn't Stand the Weather album. I believe this was my cousin James's album too, so I, I cherish all the albums that I get from people and or their family members and stuff, so yeah. Next we got an album, Listen to Christmas by Johnny Mathis. He's a great singer and I love his Christmas songs, no doubt about that. Next we got the Piano Magic of Floyd Kramer. He was one of my first cassette tapes that I got. I've not taken a listen taken a uh listen to this tape yet, but yeah. I might have to check him out sometime his music. Next we got Freddie White sings Irish and Irish American favorites. Wait, is this another copy? Oh my god. Oh, this is tape one. I just noticed it says tape one. However, this one is the Piano Magic of Floyd Kramer tape number two. And 
And I love piano music, so that's right up my alley, too. Next, we got the Rock and Roll Era of 1958. Next, we got Neil Diamond's September Morn, which is short for morning. Obviously. Next, we got Pete Fountain, Pete Fountain's New Orleans. Haven't taken a listen to this yet, but I'm going to check it out and see. One of these days, I'm going to play all of these cassette tapes. Next, we got Jackson Brown, not Brown, Jackson Brown <laughs> Hold Out album. Next, we got Liberace Just For You. And some of you might have known in my previous cassette collection video that Liberace's okay. He's not the greatest, in my opinion. He might be the greatest in some people's opinion, and I respect that. But in my opinion, Liberace, he's common in VH, not VHS, he's common in cassettes, records, and A tracks, and CDs, and stuff. So, yeah. So, I got quite a bit of Liberace. You'd be thinking I'm a fan of him, but I'm a fan of him. Well, I could say I like some of his songs. But not too many of them, so yeah. Next we got Russ Taft, The Way Home. Next we got one of the greatest albums ever made, Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon album. On cassette. <coughs> Next we have, what's this album? Oh, Eric Clapton Journeyman album. You can see that up close. Journeyman album. Next we have Starship No Protection album. Next we got You Might Be a Redneck If. So yeah, let's see. And this is Jeff Foxworthy. Like tape of uh, Jeff. This is like the Jeff Foxworthy recording of You Might Be a Redneck If. Next, we have the Everly Brothers, the Rock and Roll Era. I like Jeff Foxworthy's comedy, by the way, on the previous tape that I showed y'all. He's a good uh, comedian. Next, we have more Trace Atkins. Ooh, I got a lot of them. Next we got As Time Goes By, 40 Unforgettable Songs of World War II. Next we got The Greatest Hits Various. You got Alabama, Earl, Thomas Connolly, The Judds, Ronnie Millsap, Dolly Parton, Waylon Jennings. Then you got Eddie Raven, Juice Newton, Sylvia, Restless, and Hart. So here we go, and let me exit out my Discord real quick, because I just noticed I had that open. Okay, there we go, let's exit out. Next we have Liberace Remembered Volume 2. The reason why I exit out my Discord, guys, is because I don't want uh nobody uh like calling on Discord and stuff, because I don't accept calls because of my inner... Uh, I got an old computer. Anyway, but I call this new computer because it's Mac. But anyway, stereo cassette Marvin Gaye's greatest hits. The Motown Sound. He's an iconic singer, no doubt about that. He's one of the greatest singers of all time. Next we got Vince Gill, I Still Believe in You album. Pretty good right there. Next, we got one of the most iconic debut albums of a singer, any singer or any band. That is Bad Company on cassette. I can't believe, I still can't believe I picked this up for 59 cents at a Goodwill. And uh, it works fine. I love this album. You got songs like Can't Get Enough, Rock Steady, Ready For it, Love, Don't Let Me Down, Bad Company, The Way I Choose, Moving on Seagull. So, yeah. I love Bad Company. It's, they're one of the greatest bands of all time. 
Next we got Wynonna Judd, her debut album. Next we got Nat King Cole, Million Dollars. Which you can see that better right there. He's a good singer, no doubt about that. Ooh, I'm stacking up on these. Next, we have Tony Bennett, MTV Unplugged. This is pretty good. Next, we have Frank Sinatra's Greatest Hits and Greatest Hits Volume 2. I love Frank Sinatra. I am a fan of his music from the 40s and 50s and even 60s. I like his music, no doubt about that. He's one of the greatest singers and performers of all time. Next, we got a movie soundtrack, Footloose Original Motion Picture Soundtrack. It's not the remake or reboot or whatever it is. This is the real deal. I love Footloose, the original song by Kenny Loggins. I think he's a good singer. Love the movie. It's pretty good, no doubt about that. Next, we got in the Glenn Miller Orchestra in the Digital Mood. I like Glenn Miller's music. He's he he could play pretty good. Next we got Mario Lanza, you do something to me album. Next we got Liberace as time goes by. Next we got another Liberace. Play Moon River and other great songs. Out of all Liberace's album, which one I would listen to first? Definitely be probably this one. <coughs> anyway, next we have Ice House, Measure for Measure. Love this album. It's pretty good, no doubt about that. Next we have the best of ZZ Top. One of the greatest bands ever. And we have Radio's Greatest Broadcast. It's like a blank tape case. Basically, it's in bad shape at the front. But the back's pretty good. But anyway, right here. Next, we have another Liberace. Volume 1, All Time Greatest Hits. Next, we have another Liberace. Here's Liberace, it says. And we have another album, Tracy Bird, Big Love. And we have the best of Inkelbert, Humper Dink. He seems pretty good, no doubt about that. Uh, don't fall, don't fall good. <laughs> anyway, next we have the Rock and Roll era, 1954 through 1955. Next we have Kenny G. Breathless. Next we have Willie Nelson, the best of Willie. He's one of the greatest singers of all time, no doubt about that. Next we got Liberace, Remembered, Volume 1. Next we have Clint Black, The Hard Way. One of my favorite country singers, no doubt about that. Next, we have Billy Ray Cyrus, It Won't Be the Last. I like his music, too. It's pretty good. Next, we have Randy Travis, Always and Forever, right here. He's one of my favorite singers of all time, Randy Travis is. He's one of the greatest. Next, we have Elvis Costello, Spike Album. Okay, next we got Christy Lane Top Songs of All Time plus Star Spangled Banner. I love that song, Star Spangled Banner, right there.
Next we have God Bless the USA, Mormon Sympathy and Chorus. I love the cover of this album. It's pretty awesome, no doubt about that. But I haven't taken a listen to that one yet. But I'm going to be checking that out eventually. Lionel Richie Dancing on the Ceiling album. Next we have the legendary Patsy Cline, one of my favorite country singers of all time, from the 40s and 50s and even 60s. I think she was in his 40, around the 40s singing too, so yeah. Next we got Classics by Kenny Rogers. Love Kenny Rogers. He's one of the greatest country singers of all time. Next we got a country band right here, a great country band, the Oak Ridge Boys. The Oak Ridge Boys have arrived. Next, we got the Beach Boys, the Rock and Roll area. I mean, era. All of you know what I think about the Beach Boys album singers. I love the Beach Boys, how they sing their songs and stuff. It's very iconic and awesome. <coughs> Next, we got a great Dire Straits album, Brothers and Arms. Next, we got a movie soundtrack. I love this country singer's music. George Strait, Pure Country. The movie's pretty good, too, no doubt about that, but I like the songs better, obviously. <laughs> I got it on cassette, but not the movie on VHS. Next, we got Barbara Streisand. Next, we got the Rock and Roll Era, 1961. Next, we got Piano Gold, Volume 1. Let's see, the Rock and Roll Era, 1960, and uh, let's see, uh, let me move these cassettes over, Andy Williams' Christmas Present, another one we have, Burl Ives, REM number five document. Great album right there. Next we have the best of Andy Williams. Next we got in hold on, what does this say? Let me open this up. The Mountain Fly, wait, Ozzy Osbourne, Diary of the Madman. You can see it right here. It's in pretty bad shape. But it was like that when I got it. But I love the way it says, Diary of the Madman, Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> I love Ozzy Osbourne. He can sing very good, in my opinion. Next, we got Christmas Celebrations. Next, we got Roy Orbison, Old Pretty Woman. One of my favorite singers of all time. Next, we got Merle Haggard, Country Pride. Next, we got Kenny Greatest Hit, Kenny G's Greatest Hits. <coughs> Next, we got Benson and Hedges Command Performance Spotlight at the Seventies. Next, we got Moon Over Miami. Damn, this video is getting to be 20 minutes long. <laughs> By the way, guys, if any of you are wondering what shirt I'm wearing, it's Jimi Hendrix. So, yeah. Next, we got 1959, The Rock and Roll Era. Next, we got Frank Sinatra Duets. We got Your Hit Parade. 1945. Love the way this cover looks. The old jukebox and stuff. Next we got Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons, the rock and roll era. Another one we got right here is the late 40s, top 10, collect top 10 collection. 
one of my first cassettes that I ever got, the music cassettes that I ever got. <coughs> Next we got the best of Kenny Rogers. Next we got two songs right here. Alabama Mountain Music and Alabama My Homes in Alabama. Someone wrote on that and I just love these kind of tapes. Just like the 90s and 80s. So, Yeah, I love the way these tapes look. Next, I got Elvis Costello, this year's model. Next, I got New Young Decade album. One of the best singers of all time, in my opinion. I like that song, Harvest Moon. Uh, what's that other song I like? Heart of Gold. Next, we got A Jolly Christmas by, I mean, from Frank Sinatra. Next, we got Top Gun. Great movie soundtrack and great movie. Next, we got... What does it say? Let me... I hate when... Oh, the Allman Brothers Band. A Decade of Hits, 1969 through 79. Next, we got another Liberace tape. Liberace Volume 2, All Time Greatest Hits. Next, we got The Best of Roger Williams. Another one we got is Donna Summer. Next, we got Music of the War Years, Remember the 40s. One of my first cassettes I've ever gotten as well. Next we got Kenny Rogers, Everywhere We Go. I mean, not Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Kenny Chesney, Everywhere We Go album. I love Kenny Chesney's old music. One of the greatest songs, I mean, albums of his, no doubt about that. One of his early albums, shall I say, as well. Next we got The Best of the Doors. I love The Doors. One of my favorite bands of all time. Next, we got the Grateful Dead in, in the Dark. Great, great band, no doubt about that. And I love the way this looks. Look at the red case around it. Oh my God, that is so cool. The only red case I have like that. Next, we got Ike and Tina Turner, Proud Mary, and other hits. Whew. Well, guys, I just showed all of you 100 of my music cassette tapes that I own. This is all I currently own right now. I'm planning on growing them more and more. Music cassettes have always been one of my favorite music formats, no doubt about that. And I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video of mine. I apologize for it being so long. But uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe to me on my The Video Gamer 64 channel. And, of course, Music and Antique 64 channel to see more videos on here as well. And this is the Video Gamer 64 and Music and Antique 64 signing off.